you get you guys got to watch Sperm World. Oh yeah, you sent you sent that. Uh, that's on Hulu, right? I haven't watched yeah. it yet. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's weird, man. It just made me. It made me hate every person in it. I guess not hate. Hate's a very strong word, but it really turned me on to the concept that like there are independent sperm donors that just meet up online in Facebook groups and go and jerk off in parking lots and sell their sperm in like Wait, turkey basters. That's yeah. what it's about. This is a real thing that people do what? and get pregnant and have children and like I did it and I got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even make money from it. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is like there's a real world of independent <laughs> sperm donors outside of sperm banks that are doing this on their own. There's a and there's, there's one, a black market for sperm donors. It's not even a black market, bro. It's on Facebook. Well, I mean, that's, it's, yeah, but I mean, it's not in a bank, so it's kind of like it's not sanctioned. Like that's fucking weird. No, it's not. Yeah, it's it's very weird. There's this guy. He has like 120 kids, and he doesn't have a. He doesn't live anywhere. He travels because he tries to be in their lives. So he just but, travels but, to different families and and spends the night. It's fucking why wild. do that's people so want weird. his sperm? Is he rich? Is he good? No, that's a good question. That's a There's good There's no way he's rich. He's got 120 no. kids. Yeah, he's not rich. He's not rich. <laughs> And he's jerking off in a parking lot. He's not rich, dude. <laughs> Bro, there's just a scene because it's shot very cinematically and it's, it's done really well. So I'm like drawn in by that. But when you get to the actual like meat and potatoes of what it is, I'm just like, oh, this is fucked. But there's this guy, he does it for a living and his girlfriend or wife is trying to get pregnant and trying to have a kid and they can't do it. Meanwhile, this dude's just beating off and like getting all these other chicks pregnant but there's this scene where she's talking about how it's not a problem i don't mind it and they cut to this shot where it's this dude pulling up to a parking lot they're sitting next to each other and you see him in the focus and then he just starts leaning back like this and you just hear a porno going and dudes beating off and they cut off to this establishing shot and you just see him walking up to another car in the parking lot and handing off the fucking jizz it, it's fucking insane dude so what do fucking they do insane. they take it and then they take a turkey baster and they do it at home there's no doctor at all and you have like 15 minutes to to get it in you and then they recommend that you put your feet up why would anyone go so to this guy? Like, literally ask a friend or go to dude, the bank man i mean what, why so are they going to the bank many, is it because it costs too much money probably because they, they said cost but like they're still paying like I, it's just that's it blew my mind dude it absolutely blew my mind but also gave me a lot of hope that if I get fired because of what you said on this podcast earlier. I can go out and just jerk <laughs> off in turkey basters. <laughs> uh, you think you think you think there's yeah, enough that, demand? You think there's enough demand for your sperm? You think that highly of yourself there, buddy? Maybe. I mean, it's new cast, guys. Go watch go watch the documentary and then come back to me. <laughs> you're you're so you're saying graded on the curve. You think you do all right. Okay, all right. <laughs> That's fantastic and filthy. 